Fit for Life FFL, is a diet and lifestyle book series stemming from the principles of orthopathy. It is promoted mainly by the American writers Harvey and Marilyn Diamond. The Fit for Life book series recommends dietary principles including eating only fruit in the morning, eating predominantly live and high water content food, and if eating animal protein to avoid combining it with complex carbohydrates. While the diet has been praised for encouraging the consumption of raw fruits and vegetables, several other aspects of the diet have been disputed by dietitians and nutritionists, and the American Dietetic Association and the American Academy of Family Physicians listed as a fad diet. Description The diet is based on Diamond's exploration of Herbert M. Shelton theories of food combining. Both authors claim to be able to bring about weight loss without the need to count calories or undertake anything more than a reasonable exercise program. In the first version of the program, Diamond claimed that if one eats the foods in the wrong combination they cause fermentation in the stomach. This in turn gives rise to the destruction of valuable enzymes and nutrients. Diamond categorized foods into two groups, dead foods that clog the body, and living foods that cleanse it. According to Fit for Life principles, dead foods are those that have highly refined or highly processed origins, while living foods are raw fruits and vegetables. The basic points of Fit for Life are as follows, fruits are best eaten fresh and raw. Where possible they should be eaten alone. Carbohydrates and proteins should never be combined in the one meal. Water dilutes stomach digestive juices and should never be drunk at meals. Dairy products are considered of limited value and because of their allergic capacity, should seldom, if ever, be eaten. In the 2000s, the Fit for Life system added the personalized FFL weight management program, which employs proprietary protocols called biochemical analyzation, metabolic typing and genetic predispositions. The Diamonds claim that these protocols allow the personalization of the diet, which thus customized is effective only for one individual, and can be used for that person's entire life. This version of the diet also puts less emphasis on live and dead foods, and instead talks of enzyme-deficient foods. The Diamonds posit that enzymes that digest proteins interfere with enzymes that digest carbohydrates, justifying some of the rules above. They also began to sell nutritional supplements, advertised as enzyme supplements, many of which are strongly recommended in the newest version of FFL. Publications and marketing the diet came to public attention in the mid-1980s with the publication of Fit for Life, a New York Times bestseller which sold millions of copies, over 12 million according to Harvey Diamond. Harvey Diamond has also appeared on dozens of television talk shows promoting his theories. In Fit for Life 2, 1989, the Diamonds warned against eating artificial food additives such as hydrogenated vegetable oil, which at the time was being promoted by the food industry as a healthy alternative to saturated fat. Tony Robbins promoted the Fit for Life principles and veganism to increase energy levels in his book Unlimited Power. Book Series Fit for Life 1985, by Harvey and Marilyn Diamond ISBN 0-446-30015-2 Living Health 1987, by Harvey and Marilyn Diamond ISBN 0-446-51281-8 Fit for Life 2 1989, by Harvey and Marilyn Diamond ISBN 0-446-35875-4 Fit for Life, A New Beginning, 2001, by Harvey Diamond ISBN 1575667185 Fit for Life Not Fat for Life, 2003, by Harvey Diamond ISBN 978-0-7573-0113-1 Living Without Pain, 2007, by Harvey Diamond ISBN 0-9769961-0-3 Additional books by Marilyn Diamond A New Way of Eating from the Fit for Life Kitchen, 1987 The American Vegetarian Cookbook from the Fit for Life Kitchen, 1990 The Fit for Life Cookbook, 1991 Photonics for Life, 1996, with Donald Burton Schnell Recipes for Life 1998 with Lisa Narith Young for Life 2013 with Donald Burton Schnell Controversy 
Scientific reception Health experts and science writers have dismissed the book as quackery, the rigor of study underlying Harvey Diamond. S. credentials have been disputed, which has drawn questions about his competence to write about nutrition, because his doctoral degree came from the American College of Life Science, a non-accredited correspondence school founded in 1982 by T.C. Fry, who did not graduate high school or undergo a formal accreditation process himself. FFL's personalized diet program has been criticized for providing a clinical manual that is heavily infused with alternative medicine claims about how the body works, some of which may be scientifically inaccurate or not accepted by conventional medicine, despite the fact that FFL website mentioned clinical trials. Many of the proposed principles and benefits of FFL diet are not supported by citations to any scholarly research, and some of the claims have actually been directly refuted by scientific research. For example, a dissociated diet as that advertised by FFL is no more effective for weight loss than a calorie-restricted diet. See also Raw veganism Dr. Hay diet Alkaline diet References External links Harvey Diamond's official website Criticism by James J. Kenney, Ph.D., R.D. Written in 1986 Chase Freedom's Criticism by Dietitian